Good day, folks. Boda Bob here. Hey, you won't believe I've had a busy night. I uh, brought in my firewood, cleaned the uh, chimney cap on my uh, wood stove, fixed the uh, air coupler on my airline. So I've been pretty busy tonight. What are we doing here? Well, I've got a, uh, another sticker in the mail. So let's see who's sending me a sticker today. Today's sticker is from Brian and Holly um, from the YouTube channel Cod Raven. And uh, Brian and Holly, they're uh, quite the pair. Um, very adventurous, and I enjoy their channel a lot. No, oh, I got their magnets. So I got magnets. Well, Brian, I want to thank you and Holly very much for this generous gift a couple of uh, refrigerator magnets and uh, stickers and I got a card from Brian and Holly. Bob, thanks for being a dedicated follower of our channel. We really enjoy your comments and feedback. All the best this holiday season, Brian and Holly. And so what we're gonna do now is uh, put them on the back of my Wolf Ridge 28 Pro and we'll do that right now. I think I'm gonna go with, I really like this um, sticker right here, the colored one, and I'm gonna stick Brian and Holly's sticker right here below Mike, K and L. Okay, so Brian and Holly, Sticker is below k &L Firewood, who's below the heavy hitch, which is next to Hillbilly Franks, my first sticker from any YouTube channel. Actually, no, that's not true. My first sticker was from Goldwing Moments. So, um, but it wasn't a sticker exchange. Hillbilly Frank is the one that motivated me to get my sticker, which is right here. Below Hillbilly is, uh, Knowles Garden Tractor, and then Larry Cluck is right next to Knowles. So I'd like to thank each and every one of them. And uh, yeah, if you could go over and check out Brian and Holly's channel. Um, they've got a lot of neat things going on there. They just bought a homestead uh, on the coast. Last summer, they um, sailed the coastal inlets of uh, Canada and I'm not a, I, I don't I'm, I apologize just like I don't know a lot about a lot of areas of the United States I know even less about Canada except for Oak Island I love Oak Island I'm gonna go get me a treasure maybe I think they already found it anyhow uh, yeah, Brian and Holly, uh, they, two summers ago, they, well, I don't know how many summers ago, but they bought a sailboat, and Brian rehabilitated that sailboat. It's a beautiful sailboat uh, from the 1960s, very well built from what he's been told by nautical folks, and uh, uh, it's just a beautiful uh a beautiful sailboat. And sailing has always been something that interests me. Let me tell you a little story, Brian. Um, I always thought it was cool. I, I always enjoyed watching the America's Cup. I enjoyed things like the um, power boats that get out there, you know, Miss Budweiser and all of those. Uh, especially liked them when they had the piston engines in them. I'm not so much of a fan of the uh, turbine engine uh, speed boats, but that's another story. But anyhow, what I was going to tell you about sailboats is um, when I was in the Air Force, we had a, a, a unit picnic at fam camp. It was called fam camp for family camp. And at fam camp, there was a, uh, a pond. I think they called it a lake, but it was not a lake. It was a pond. And uh, you could get canoes and you could get probably rowboats, but they also had sailboats there. 
and all the sailboats were gone except for the one for one and so i thought great uh, this will be my chance to learn how to sail without spending any money so i jumped in that boat and i pushed off from the dock so the guy raised that sail off. up and you know it was a real small thing i don't know how big it was but it wasn't very big and uh out across the uh and i had the rudder here and i'm trying to steer this thing and you got the sail trying to catch a breeze and i couldn't steer it it wouldn't it wouldn't um i i just couldn't figure it out i mean i understood setting a sail and making an airfoil out of it and, you know, opening it up and, you know, I had a basic understanding of it, but I never had an opportunity to go out with someone that knew how to sail. I just thought, man, I should be able to do that. I often think I could do anything. <laughs> so sailing, I went. Well, my neighbor, um, saw me out well i don't think he knew it was me but my neighbor saw this person who was having a difficult time and i was drifting to the restricted area of this pond and uh you know it was awful image we weren't allowed to go in there and he drove his he's in a sailboat just like mine and he just been you know he just comes right over to where i'm at and says hey you don't got a centerboard in that and i said what's a centerboard <laughs> so he said you see that hole there in the uh in the hull of your boat i said yeah he said there's supposed to be a board in there like this one he pulls his out i said well i didn't see any over there he said no there, there's one missing and yours is the one it's missing from so anyhow he uh took my tow rope and towed me back to the dock and then he showed me how to sail in that one. It was kind of funny though. That was my first and last time at, at sailing and uh, I learned the importance of a centerboard at that time. Marina, where we so yeah, that's my experience with sailboating, uh, Brian and Holly. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna leave a link to uh, Brian's channel down below. So head on over and tell Holly and Brian that Boat of Bob sent you subscribe to their channel if it's something you're interested in they've got a lot of new things coming on board like i was saying and uh do me a favor like subscribe and share this video with a friend until next time enjoy the journey cheers stop record